not the sun in my eyes. It's in your eyes. It's my eyes. The sun's low in the sky. Anyway, hello YouTube. Uh, yes, you can see it behind me. You can see it behind me. Yes, um, I show you. I've got the the new run around. Uh, temporary. Basically, it's a temporary run around to keep me around until I can actually provide myself with something better. Um, things are generally getting better, so we're hoping there. But anyway, I'm going to show you this project. I've told you I was going to rat it as such. Now I'm going to show you what I've done so far. As you can see, it's slightly different. Not a lot different yet, but slightly different. If you notice, I've taken the wing mirrors off. Now legally you don't need them. Legally. Except, uh, so, uh, except when you register the bike originally or something like that. But I took them off because they were no use nor ornament. Well actually they were quite nice ornaments but they were absolutely no use. I couldn't see what was behind me because my arms were in the way. But as you can see the engine has been matted. I've only matted the bottom of the engine. But you can also see this paint effect. And I really really like it. And I'm going to show you how I did it. So I really really like the front. So I've done this paint effect. What we're going to do, I'm going to do the front fender. And when I'm recording videos like this, why do people choose to go down a quiet village street? Anyway, yeah, I'm going to do the fender in very much the same style. I'm thinking of doing the same bit here and then just having matte black on here. I'm thinking that's what I'm thinking at the moment. We'll see how it works because we can always add extra. But as you can see, I've, I've altered it ever so slightly. The headlight is looking good. Yeah, I'm really, really liking it. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you that front fender. I'll just get it off and then we can start with the paint. As you can see, taken the fender off, deconstructed it and what I'm doing is I'm doing just basically, I like a speckle coat, I like to like the orange peel when it comes to matte black. So I just give it a coat, that's the final coat, job done. And uh, yeah, you've seen how to paint before, I've shown you before, um, so look at one of my previous videos on how to paint and just basically do that. But what I've done is I've got these two little bits that go on the fender just about there. So what I've done is I've taken these off, I've given them a coat of matte black and I'm going to show you how I did the paint effect on the bike. So here we go. Hopefully this isn't too dark for you. Uh, yes, what you're going to need for this is your part that you're going to be painting, a paintbrush and I've, I'm using craft enamel, Rust-Oleum craft, craft enamel for this job. But that's all you need, a bit of silver paint basically. Um, <coughs> and, and the trick to this is, get all the dust off, don't really need all that on there. But the trick to this is, is basically you've got to get the paint out of the can. So what I do, is I've got the lid there, and I just, I just spray into the lid. So you've got a nice little well there. And I basically put the brush in. Get the brush nicely coated and it will dry on the brush so don't worry about that and then what I'm doing is once I've got it on the brush just take a little bit of the excess off but what I'm doing is effectively called dry brushing and I start off with just doing the edges just do the edges I only need a little tab and just do all the edges it's called dry brushing. I've been doing this technique for years, or decades more enough. As you can see, the paint is drying. Go around there. And it doesn't actually have to be neat. And it does dry rather quickly. So I've done one. We'll do the other. So, load up the brush again. Let's see, there you go. Get the brush nicely coated, get rid of the excess and just 
Do the edges. And so, there we go. That's what we're looking for, is that scraped look on the edges. And as I said, it doesn't have to be neat. Do it around there, do it around there. You know, if it goes wrong, make it a feature. Do that. So that's now the paint dry. And what I do, so I take a little bit of my matte black, and I just basically dust over it. Quite literally, just a really far dusting. And then I repeat the process. So I'll let that dry. I'll repeat the process in a few minutes. So as you can see, we've got that dry brushed edge. And what we're going to do is we're just going to... I've dulled it down with some black paint. Now, it is dry. And what we'll do is we'll um, <coughs> properly dry brush it now. So what we do is we'll take a brush, same again, Do -do -do -do. let it puddle, and then we've got to be quick with this, take the excess off, and then just basically finger thumb, finger thumb, finger thumb, finger thumb. And just basically go over the whole thing. There we go. Doesn't matter about all. Oh. Let's hold it at the back there. Really, 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 really does not matter about messing it up. It is a rat style. But what you do is you get that effect. Now you can darken it with um, black paint, which is what I'll do. Actually, I quite like that. That's come out really, really well. So do the other one. That's what we do. Take a spray can. Put a little at the back. Scrub a brush in it. Take off the excess and then just finger thumb really, really lightly. Dry brush it. There we go. And he's done. That is it. Just let it dry. And that is job done. What we'll do is we'll let them dry, let the fender dry, put it all back together and put it on the back so and show you. It's actually come out really, really well. If you want to, You've got your matte black. While it's still wet, just give it a dust. Just a dust. You don't have to be really close to it. Just dust it. Just leave it like that. And what it'll do is it'll give it a dull, a dull grey metallic gunmetal finish. So if I show you. There you go. That's the effect you get. That's a good picture. That's a good one. And it's very, very simple. Job done. Right, it's on the bike. It actually looks cooler. It's rained overnight, but it actually looks cooler in the wet, if you have a look at that. I've also done the front forks. <laughs> but yeah, it's not come out too bad. The contrast between the gunmetal dry brushed area and the matte black looks really good. Now I'll just dry it off. <laughs> Excuse me. Dry it off. Give it a. So there we go. Just dried it off. You can see the contrast between the matte black. Yeah, it'll dry off. You'll see the contrast between the matte black and the gunmetal. It just looks really, really good. And it's a very, very simple technique. So anyway, bye bye YouTube. <laughs> Give your bike a clean now.